The Bible says that those who have many friends must also be friendly. So you must you must interrogate what have this person done? What has this person done so far? If you can see some traces of achievement, some traces of, 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 of this person trying to do something, at least you can give him a benefit of doubt. But if they have never dared anything, please get busy. Yes, welcome to the Wisdom Talk. I'm Joe Wisdom. And uh, uh, I feel anointed for singles. And I think this is their season. Those who have been trusting God for life partners, this is your year. It cannot be next year but one. This is your year. As the Bible says that, behold, this is the day that the Lord has made. You must position yourself for the right people to locate you. You must position yourself for the right things to locate you. You know, there's what people call conspiracy theory. Sometimes if you, position, if you position yourself, you attract the right things. So I, we looked at the last episode and we were talking about wisdom for singles. And we said it's good to be whole. Make sure that you are whole. Make sure that you take care of yourself. You know, don't, don't be under pressure. You are not late. Who told you you are late? There's nothing like being late. The Bible says that in the fullness of time, God will make everything beautiful. Your time is coming. Those who are married had their time. Your time is also coming. So uh, don't operate from a point of, you know, a lot of pressure and hoping that uh, things work like this. Sometimes when you push things so much, you break them. So today I want to talk about something. Suit for the singles. These are single special. What do you consider when you're looking for a life partner? What do you consider? Things to consider when looking for a life partner. Number one. Number one, do they have a purpose? Do this person have a purpose? If she's a lady, if she's a man, does he have a purpose? You know, are they getting you into their confusion or do, are they sure of what they want to do? Purpose comes before partner. Before a partner comes, let them fight themselves. Because if they are convincing you to come to their life, where is he, where is he headed? Very important. Do they have a purpose? What defines the life of a man is their purpose. A purpose is the reason for your existence. This person must be very clear on what he wants to do in life. Otherwise, he'll get you into his confusion. Don't, be, don't, don't let anyone get you into their confusion. Let them, make, let them settle first. And you who is being lured into this confusion, don't you even know yourself also? Why should you just say yes into something that you are not even sure? What connects people is purpose. It's not even love, it's purpose. Purpose is what connects people. Purpose is what makes you remain together. And that is why Miles Monroe once said that when the purpose of a thing is not known, then abuse is inevitable. That is why you find people killing each other because they don't understand the purpose of their union. When you understand the purpose of your union, then it is easy for you to begin navigating the waters of that relationship. Sometimes understanding is paramount when you understand purpose. When you go through difficult moments, it's understandable because you know this is not where you are coming. Imagine just because Joseph understood purpose by his dream, he was able to stand the prison experience. He was able to stand the Potiphar's house experience, being a house help. You know what he kept on telling himself? In my dream, I never saw myself here. I saw myself in the palace. I saw myself, my brothers, my sisters, my parents adoring me. So that tells you that every purpose is, or your purpose is what keeps you on the right lane. Master your purpose. And in our last episode, we talked about mastering your assignment. Every one of you must come with the knowledge of where you want to go. If you meet at a point of purpose, then that relationship will stand the test of time. Even when you go through difficult moments, you keep telling yourself, we never saw ourselves here. We are headed somewhere. So you are able to stand. You are able to encourage one another. It's not that people, sometimes people get into a relationship without basically understanding their purpose. And you know what happens when they begin going through difficult times in marriage? They begin telling each other, I never foresaw this one. This is not the kind of a life that I wanted. This person cannot endure 
a hard moment because in their mind, they thought just of parting the whole of their lives. Purpose is very important if you can understand purpose. The other thing is that this person, especially if he's a man, I'm talking to ladies right now, if this man understands purpose, is he able to articulate a bit where they want to go? Is he able to explain by, you for, by use of a diagram where he is headed? Or he's just there telling you, I'll become a great man. In the next, I am no, I'll become a great man in this nation. Can he articulate how? You, anybody can desire. Anybody can wish to be. But do they understand? Are they able to articulate the how? Or does he belong to that category of people who say that anyhow is a how? You, he must be able to articulate where he wants to go. Not someone who is full of confusion. This time he is telling you he wants to become a businessman. The other time he is telling you he wants to go to Qatar and do this kind of businesses again. He wants to tell you know he is telling he he he, he, he is full of confusion. This he cannot attach his life to anything. Is he able to articulate where he wants to go? That is a character that you need to master. We are talking about what do you need to consider when you are looking for a life partner. If this person is serious, they must be able to articulate what they want to do in life. If she is a lady, you need also to, to, to hear from her. Is she able also to articulate what she wants to do in life? Ama ni muwana alafu anza kukusumbua. Anakuambia niweke biashara. The next moment, I want to go back to school. The next moment, I can even leave you. You know, they don't understand where they are. Anybody who can articulate what they want to do is a good candidate for marriage. Number three, these people, what have they done so far? You know you can live on promises. Fake promises. People who are out there promising you heaven when they very well know that they don't even have hell to give you. They promise everything, but they have nothing to deliver. Does this person, what have they done? If you are saying you want to become a business, what have you done so far? Remember what we said, some last episode, uh, some as show in the last episode? That no one is remembered for what they wanted to do. And the wishes are idle thoughts. If you keep wishing you want to become this, you keep wishing you want to be in this place, if you do nothing about it, then those are basically idle thoughts. So you must, you must interrogate, what, have this person done, what has this person done so far? If you can see some traces of achievement, some traces of, 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 of this person trying to do something, at least you can give him a benefit of doubt. But if they have never dared anything, please, get busy. Do what you're supposed to do. So you must look at what they have done. Number four, number four, you also need to ask yourself, who are these people submitted to? Who speaks to the life of this person? When you get someone saying that, Mimi hakuna mutu anaiza kaniambia kitu. Just know that you are quoting danger. These are the alpha and omegas of their lives. They don't listen to anybody. They are too big to be taught. And therefore they are, so, so, they are too small to teach. They have no mentors. You know. They are their own encyclopedia. They don't consult. They have everything they need. They are all sufficient. They are El Shaddai by themselves. It's very dangerous to quote such a person. You ask yourself, who do they submit to? If this person is born again, you need to ask, are they submitted to the church where they fellowship? If they are employed, are they submissive to their employer? Or this is the, they are the kind of people who say, Mimi pastor wangu hezi akaniambia kitu. Mimi my boss ata hezi akaniambia kitu. Just know that that person is a very dangerous person. Who are they submitted to? 
mtu anakuambianga mpaka mimi mzazi wangu wazazi wangu tu ni masubua tu wananisubuanga that person is very dangerous kama if they are saying that to their parents what about you very important who are they submitted to remember they have to be under government every person must be under government you must be you the bible says that those who have many friends must also be friendly fucking who do you go and seek help from these are people who even do or if, or those people are, uh, they even wed and when they have an issue the man cannot even go to the best couple for you lady if you want to work it out and kwambia let's go to a best couple you go alone i'm not going you tell them let's go to our pastor you go alone is very dangerous and some of these uh, red flags will be seen as you court when you see such please let that person work it out there are ladies who cannot be told anything they can't reason to anybody they are very dangerous run away from them the, the god is their father let god make them when they are ready enough you get back and continue i said marriage is not an emergency then lastly lastly you also need to understand who are their friends who are their friends if this person doesn't introduce you to his friends then this is a dangerous person that you are even getting married that you don't even know his friends he is a lone ranger you know you know you need to know his friends because there are some comments that you hear from the friends kuna hata marafiki wanakuangalia wanakuhurumia na wewe unakufia hapo you think that everybody is against you no you need to know you need to interrogate what is it that you don't have friends because it might be too late when you get into the house and realize that this person is a dangerous person that is why he doesn't have friends the bible says that those who have many friends must also be friendly if you want to have friends you must also be friendly you need to have someone who is also friendly who is social not someone who marries you and tells you that you don't need to get out of this house from today you know someone tells you i don't want to see those friends of yours in this house and you are living in a in a you know you look like you are in a prison is very dangerous you need to understand the social life and the social circle of this person then lastly lastly let me tell you all of you who are looking forward to getting life partners and getting married never despise someone because of where they are never despise someone because of where they are and never love someone because of where they are you might marry a professional or get married to a professional a banker a corporate person only for them to lose a job so if you married the job and the job is not there then frustration kicks in so you need to look at the values of that person the the values of this person not just and you might be looking down on that person who looks so much juakali but is a very hard working person possibly he was even sacked from his place of work and instead of just sitting down on that sofa set in the house and watching afro cinema they just get there and get their hearts dirty and they are earning something at the end of the day so never look down on someone because of where they are i have seen many people who despised others because of their current state later on they wished they they saw the vision in that person so don't judge a person for where they are at a particular moment look at the ethics look at the values of a person that is what makes a man allow me to stop there we'll be looking at something different next time please keep following us wema tv wisdom talks and i know that every day you have an opportunity to watch us you have an opportunity also to share with your friends and people you think can be helped through this uh programs we have so many other programs that we are running please keep in touch and keep on our uh, on our online platform on youtube keep watching and share to as many people as you can and i know through that we are going to grow together i am joe wisdom and that is wisdom talks mm-hmm.